Rising incidents of human rights violations in Pakistan's Balochistan province are worrisome. And overseas Baloch leaders and activists are seeking global intervention to get justice for people in Balochistan. On March 26, 2011, several Baloch and Sindhi organizations held a peaceful demonstration in front of the U.S. Embassy in London seeking U.S. intervention. The protesters demanded that an international commission should investigate the crimes against innocent Baloch nationals by Pakistan. The protest was also against the forceful annexation of Balochistan by Pakistan 63 years ago on March 27, 1948. These are peaceful uh, Baloch activists. They are being uh, targeted, kidnapped, uh, extrajudicial uh, killing is going in Balochistan. It is widespread. Uh, the, uh, it is very uh, dire in Balochistan. And uh, we are here uh, in front of American embassy uh, to uh, raise our voice, raise awareness uh, about the situation in Balochistan. Uh, and uh, we welcome uh, uh, President Obama's uh, declaration that uh, uh, people have the right for self-determination. They supported self-determination for uh, Egyptian people, uh, Tunisian people, and uh, Baloch people want the same. UN figures reveal that more than 84,000 people have been displaced and thousands had been killed during military operations in Balochistan. The gross violations of human rights continue and more than 6,000 educated Baloch youth, leaders and political and social activists have been kidnapped by Pakistan's intelligence agencies. There is an immense sense of insecurity among the people. The situation in Balochistan is alarming. Uh, Pakistan has converted Balochistan into a military garrison. There are more uh, FC, Frontier Corps, uh, constabulary check post than high schools in Baluchistan. People are humiliated in their own towns and, and villages. Uh, and uh, there's the fifth uh, army uh, operation going on in Baluchistan. It has bombarded uh, innocent villages and uh, more than 2,000, 200,000 uh, Baluch marine Bukti areas are dislocated, displaced. They are refugees. Uh, we don't know where they are. And they have abducted more than 8,000 people, uh, Baloch uh, civilians. Pakistan continues to exploit Balochistan's rich mineral wealth while carrying out atrocities on the people of the province. Baloch activists are concerned that Pakistan is diverting a large part of US funds meant for the war on terror to get conventional weapons from China and other countries. Political activists and leaders from Balochistan want the U.S. to intervene as Pakistan continues to divert international funds to strengthen its military and support the Taliban and Al-Qaeda.